gonna go viral. Let's just say, I'm free, I'm ready, I've got some moves. Don't know what's so funny. He's leaving me hanging. I am not a comedian no. or a comic. I am a broadcaster. Yes. Okay, so this is it. This is the episode of Come Dine With Me. Is this full screen? Turn the volume up, whack the volume up. There we go. <clears throat> when was this? Does it have a year on there? It doesn't have a year on, does it? 04, 04, 04, 2004. That's about, sounds about right. I've not been clean that long. Mm, I've counted the minutes. <laughs> Four excitable celebrities. <laughs> I love every second of it. It's going to be weird seeing my old flat. It's going to be weird seeing my old flat. <laughs> Competing to win a thousand pounds for charity. <laughs> there are musical highs. <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> Callum. We had to take a lot of my posters down and pictures down because they didn't have copyright clearance to show them. Should I be bigger? Should I be a little bit bigger? You had to get copyright clearance to show them, so I had to take some stuff down. Henry Lowe's. Disaster. <laughs> and some low blows. It's like a slightly weird child. Ooh. Before see. Oh! Debbie's, Debbie's the Kiss Pandas, yeah, which is now in the garage and is in a terrible state. The Kiss Pandas. It's, it's, well, it's probably worth about 200 quid, that picture. I, I looked. It's not a lot. Um, Debbie was sexy. You know, some women... Just exude, some men as well, just exude. I think I've got a crush on Brad Pitt. But some women just exude, some people exude a sexuality. And Debbie McGee does it. I'm rubbing my nose, sorry, it looks like I've done, I promise you I haven't. I've just got an itchy nose. Secret scoring. Oh. Sees one of them crown the winner. Yummy, yummy. Now remember I'm performing on this, right? I'm performing on this. Jesus. Is it the wrong, is, oh shit guys, is it in the wrong aspect ratio? Ah oh, guys, I'm so sorry, is it the wrong aspect ratio? Is it? Is it in the wrong aspect ratio? Hang on a minute. I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit. It's the right aspect ratio to me. It looks right to me. It looks right to me. What am I supposed to change? Oh, fuck it. Not just. It looks right to me. It's a pair of boobs. It's day one for our four celebrity competitors. What, what CD are we looking at there? It's day one for our four celebrities. Kinnicky! Is that Kinnicky? Kath, is that Kinnicky? No, it's not Kinnicky. What is that CD I'm looking at there? Anyone know what CD that is I'm looking at? I look hot. We think this is 2004. We think this is 2004. No, that's not Blur. I don't know where that is. Is it in 1080p? Lol. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Is it in 1080p? Lol. Lol. <laughs> Frick. Pretty competitors. And there's magic in the air with this week's... At this stage, I didn't know who I was meeting. The country's most film. famous magician's assistant, the lovely Debbie McGee. This was like filmed quite a while before we... This was filmed like maybe weeks... I don't know. I've always been known for being of Paul Daniels and then marrying him. What's going on with this? And uh, these days I'm known for being a local radio presenter. No, you're not. You're known as being the assistant of Paul Daniels and then marrying him. I came into show business when to get in you had to do something. This is their house and this this river keeps flooding. And their whole um she's she's sexy. And their whole house was flooded. 
something or have a talent at something. Such as waving a wand. She was a dancer. She's a really These good dancer. Days, lots of people become celebrities through just being in a magazine. And um, I think it's quite sad, really. He's, he's rough on all of us. I think the public me as being totally crazy. <laughs> a wild child, a party girl. I like Jodie Marsh. Clothes, I like her a lot. I like her a lot. Meet contestant number two. Can you ban Lincoln, party please? Girl and vegetarian, Jodie Marsh. Yeah, certainly in my experience, people do panic when they find out they're vegetarian. Please. I think people just don't know what to do. They're like, oh, what do I cook? Like, what, what do you eat? Thank you, Matthew. Well, I'm guessing vegetables are a good place to start. Debbie stir fries. I was still a vegetarian at this point. I was still a vegetarian at this point. I was still a vegetarian at this point. Mixed peppers together. Paste and adds chopped chilli. I think I'm just going to do one because I don't want Shop it to be... hummus is coming up. Too hot. Finally, she pours in a tip. What is wrong with this? Why does this keep doing this? What is wrong with this? Don't tell me we got... Is, it, is the disc dirty or is it a shit? DVD player that I've bought. Should we give the disc a wash? It's not a file, you absolute melt. on the disc. Not enough memory. What? <laughs> I didn't guff. This disc drive doesn't feel very steady. Demons, how come I have done that for years and it's only made the discs better? FYI. FYI. I've got 64 megabytes of RAM. Jesus. Week's first host. The country's most famous magician's assistant, the lovely Debbie McGee. I'm not as bad as Limmy, don't. Please don't say that. I've always been known for being the of Paul Daniels and then marrying him. And uh, these days I'm known for being a local radio presenter. No, you're not. You're known as being the assistant of Paul Daniels. Sexual harassment. That had been a man doing that to a woman would have been cancelled. To get in, you had to do something or have a talent at something. Such as waving a wand. These days, lots of people become celebrities through just being in a magazine. And um, I think it's quite sad, really. I think the public probably know me as being totally crazy. <laughs> a I, like, child, I like, a I like, I like Debbie. For wearing outrageous and I clothes, like Jodie. Hardly any clothes. Meet contestant number two. Thank you, Robert, Glamour for the model, subscription. Party girl Thank you, yo, 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 Jodie yo. Marsh. Don't yeah, be rude. certainly, in my experience, people do panic when they find out you're vegetarian. This is before she don't became, know what she became lesbian like, oh, what do I for a while, like, didn't she? What, what Dance Club David, well done. I'm guessing vegetables Thank are you, a good Robert. place Welcome. to start. Debbie she stir fries mixed peppers I, together I, with homemade Her sexuality, I believe, is fluid, I'm not sure. Chili. I think I'm just going to do one, because I don't want it to be Shop bought hummus hot. coming up, guys. Finally, she pours in a tin of coconut milk, and her main course of Thai vegetable curry is done. Bye, Wallachima. Like it really hot to the point where every mouthful is pain. Right, this is absolute radio. Look how slim I am. Uh, can we get rid of Wally, please? Thank you, Matty. Busy night tonight. Very busy night. Look how slim. That's absolute radio. Um, that wasn't my. Was that actually my studio? Because we might have filmed it somewhere else. It could. I don't think that's my studio. Full. And this, I like it when your head starts sweating. Well, oh, that's not very nice. This is me pretending I wasn't on the radio here. You, you can never pretend to be on the radio. So slim. Jeez. Thought. Got our first that was my studio. All on the line. Hello, is it Zuleika? It's, un it's unusual. You get a Z in a name, isn't it? This week's third content. That wasn't a real call. That was one of the production team. I don't know if it is on YouTube, mate. I'm watching the disc. 
I dislike how you used to look. You used to look. You look so. I think I look good there, Lousy. I think I look good. I look slim. Assistant is radio presenter, TV funny man, and another veggie, Ian Lee. Suzanne, actually, I've just um, realised that has uh, two Z's in, so you lose. <laughs> Uh, this was Eloise. This was, Eloise was my producer there. It is a rare thing, I think, to be naturally funny. Uh, I don't think everyone could do it. I, I, I like people who think they're funny, but they're not. What's they would ask you questions that were obviously um, designed to give answers that would then link into the next person so they do that a lot the best cheese to conceal a horse with sorry best cheese to do what with the best cheese to conceal a horse with go on then mascarpone <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's one of those people who tried stand up but would just do jokes <sighs> okay thank you very much for coming okay our final celeb contest is that what does that say behind him does that say come face Realise that has uh, two Z's in, so you lose. It is a rare thing, I think. My wedding ring. Actually, funny. Wedding ring. Uh, I don't, I don't think everyone could do it. I, I, so I like skinny. people who Look, think they're funny, off me. but they're not. What is What's this the best the cheese behind to conceal a horse club? with? Sorry, best cheese to do what with? The best cheese to conceal a horse with. Go on then. Mascarpone. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Thank you very much for coming. Okay. Oh, no, it looks like cunt face. <laughs> um. He, I, I, I only found out later that his jaw was on a wonk because he crashed a glider. Did he get it fixed? He was going to get it fixed, wasn't he? He was going to have his face straightened. I think he did that in the end. Our final celeb contestant is former MP, notorious ladies man and aspiring... Sean Lloyd. Sean Lloyd. Um, I nearly kissed Sean Lloyd. No, the, the face. Sean Lloyd, when I was doing the 11 o'clock show, um, I'm, I'm trying to be discreet. But she invited me into her weather booth and I didn't go. Uh, I was with, with someone at the time, but that didn't stop my later indiscretions, of which I'm not proud. Um, but there's always part of me that thinks, hmm, Sean Lloyd. Hmm. Stand up comic, Lembitopic. She was nice, Sean. Well, anyway, there lot. we are. Uh, it's great to be here in, in what's left of a career. People did used to laugh at me in Parliament. At least uh, you've had to pay for it. Was it a warm front? Okay, yep, carry on. Yes, don't give up the day job. Oh, you have. Indeed. Thank you. Back with today's host, Debbie, and there's already a problem with one of her desserts. A pavlova she made earlier. Oh, disaster. She it's looks a bit hot too there. Gooey. Doesn't she? So I'm going to have to whiz another one up. <laughs> Where's Paul and his magic wand when you need him, eh? That's coming along. <laughs> That'll be fine. If Pavlova she takes two button. works, it'll be served one alongside remember, a velvet chocolate I think chocolate she wore that on the night, maybe dessert. not. But she had one button un desserts. undone more than you'd expect. If it's got sugar instead of salt, I'm probably Andrew, not going no to eat it. There's no shame in Three that. ounces of sugar. Bad luck, fella. Debbie mixes Lembit's least favourite ingredient with whisked egg whites before Just adding melted chocolate there, and double cream. Yummy, yummy. Woohoo. Finally, she pours in brandy, leaves the mixture to set and checks on Pavlova number two. Pavlova's perfect. That's going to be delicious. Oh, Didn't see Paul, Paul stayed away from Paul this. Paul loves my cooking. Yeah, Paul I think McGee's only passed, twice yeah. in, you know, we didn't over see 20 Paul. years really wanted to he's ever said he hasn't liked something. One was parsnip and banana soup. So I can't really blame him. It was a, a Debbie experiment. <laughs> I'll have a few of those. She well, just, luckily for her guests, Debbie's not her. experimenting. It's interesting. I like Jodie a lot, right? I like Jodie a lot. She's always been very, very nice to me. And I think she's a really funny, interesting woman. But I don't find her sexy. It could be argued, possibly. Um, yeah, she was on at Christmas. They said they got their favourite contestants back. Could be argued that, that maybe Jodie tries too hard. I'm not, you know, it could be. Debbie's not trying, man. There's just this vibe come off her. Yeah, we saw Paul, Paul Daniels die earlier on. Uh, if you missed it, David, it was actually quite harrowing. Starter. Instead, she's opting for a tried and tested recipe. A mixed platter, including fig and melon, halloumi and hummus. Hum I shop actually think hummus. it's really nice having lots of little bits for the starter. Hummus. It better be homemade. If it comes out of a plastic tub, there's trouble. The only thing that I haven't made is the hummus, and really it's a backup in case people don't like any of the other starters. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. 
The rest of her starter nice, will be prepared nice just before serving. Oh. After changing, Debbie sets her hired-in butler to work for the evening before the arrival of her first guest. Blimey, it's a fully clothed Jody. Hello! <laughs> so I was the last Debbie, to arrive. Nice to meet you. Got you some wine, oh. some chocolates. Now, you say you didn't know you could make hummus. Keep watching, because I make that joke later on. It's all theatre, and I don't mind playing the idiot for a laugh. So I've got no problem with playing the idiot. Flowers. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know who it was going to be. Thank you. Andrew. That's three more gifts than empty-handed XMP Lembit's brought. Had to make some cutbacks, old chap. Oh, Lembit! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, nice this is Jodie. This is Lembit. Hello. Hey, hey, this is so before. weird. Right, you're not so another weird, of his walking. conquests. Surely not. <laughs> better, better now. <laughs> and last in, it's professional funny man Ian. Hi, it's Debbie McGee. <laughs> That would have been about the third or fourth time we tried it because I'd worked out it was Paul Daniels' house. She obviously knew it was me. Um, so. Oh, this is Jodie. That's this a good line. Debbie McGee! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've met before. Oh. Is that the fourth time we're doing it? of his conquests? Surely not. Yeah. <laughs> better, better now. <laughs> and last in, it's professional funny man Ian. It's Hi, Debbie McGee! Hello, Hello Debbie. So we've got Jodie. Hello, Debbie. That's, that was the real me. Hello, Debbie. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a hummus expert, Andrea. I'm a hummus expert. That, hello, Debbie. That's real me. Hey. <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Got you some wine, oh. some chocolates, and some flowers. Oh, <laughs> so I didn't know who it was going to be. The magic car was in the drive, Dave. Yeah, that's how I worked out where it was. empty-handed XMP Lembit's brought. Had to make some the cutbacks, old chap. Lembit! Oh, 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 this is Hello, Jody. Debbie. This is Lemon. Hey, we've met before. I think in a week of this right, shit. Right, you're not another of his conquests. Surely not. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> better, better now. It's Debbie and McGee. Last in, it's professional Hello, funny Debbie. man, Ian. It's Debbie it's McGee. Still with Cyburns, look. Hello, Debbie. So Hello, Debbie. Hello, Jody. Hello, Jody. I'm Ian. We've met before. Yes, long yeah. time. Not you as well. <laughs> not feeling quite so special now, eh, Lembit? Coming up. It's so hard to meet people. Flirtation heaven. I'm 31, I'm still single. Watch this space. Dessert hell. Not very big on sugar. What's that all about? He's an odd fish, isn't he? And the sweet turns sour. Odd fish. It does seem odd that you made a dessert that you won't eat. I Shut think up, a Pete. little bit Prick. of testosterone came out Absolutely. with that banana. Prick. Pete, how dare you? How dare you even suggest that I'm, I'm acting, I'm not a nice guy. You're a piece of trash. All right, purple. And that's it, I think. That's that's it. Thank you, Huey. Thank you. I'll take that. I don't want to fast forward it in case it buggers it up again. So now's a great time to say tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, the 11 o'clock show revisited. And on Monday, it starts going out as a podcast and all your usual podcast formats. Can I fast forward? Which one of these will jump forward and which will fast forward? Oh, bollocks. That would be right at the beginning, wouldn't it? Fuck. Uh. Crazy. Sorry, guys. I'm new to this. Okay. Here we go. We're back in, guys. Shut up, Nalzi. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're on the banks of the River down. Thames, where the lovely Debbie McGee is trying to work her culinary magic on no three other celebs in, in an attempt to win a thousand pound charity prize. Drinking slow. Sure, be ready. The for the yeah, yeah, here we are. Oh. While she gets to work in the kitchen on her starters... And this is showing off, really, isn't it, though? <laughs> her guests a have a nose round the grounds of the house she owns with magician husband Paul Daniels. Oh, I like going grey. I like going oh, grey. Oh, the Debbie McGee. The lovely, Debbie, the lovely McGee. Debbie McGee. That is so cool. I don't know if my wife would like having a boat named after her. Have, have you know? asked her? I, I could put it to her, see what she says. Yeah, like you could afford one. <sighs> on with the food, and Debbie's mixed platter, including melon and fig, halloumi and some very shop-bought hummus, is ready. And Q Ian. Is it homemade hummus? Thank you. No, I'm afraid it isn't, Ian. But everything else is homemade. Oh, thank homemade you, hummus. thank you. <laughs> Bit of... Here's the thing. The whole time I'm doing this, right, I'm fucking around. I was nervous. But whenever I'm on TV and I did the same, you're trying to look cool. What? Okay. 
whenever I'm on telly, right, even in the, especially in the jungle, especially in the jungle, actually, not even, there's a camera there, unless it's like a doc, serious documentary, you know, about mental health or something. I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining. I'm, I'm being paid, three grand here, I'm being paid to entertain. So I'm going to give you stuff. Could I have afforded a boat then? A cheap one, yeah. I did want to get a boat then. Um, I, I, I'm being paid to entertain. And that's exactly what I thought when I went in the jungle. That's why I did those strawberries. I thought I'm being paid a lot of money to entertain people. So I'll, ent I'll eat these strawberries and entertain because it's been quite boring so far. So, yeah. Bread, bit of... Oh, no, come on. Of dip, bit of and this is showing off, really, isn't it? Though <laughs> her guests have a nose round the grounds of the house she owns with magician husband Paul Daniels. Oh, I didn't tell you, isn't it? Debbie McGee. Lovely Debbie the McGee. lovely Debbie McGee. That is so cool. I don't know if my wife would like having a boat named after her. Have you asked her? I look I, good I there. I think I'll see what she says. Yeah, like you could afford one. On with the food and Debbie's mixed platter, fig. including melon and fig, halloumi, and some very shop. But that's not really Hummus a meal, is, ready. is it? And Q Ian. Is it homemade hummus? I'm playing. No, I'm afraid it isn't, Ian. But she was but pissed off. Everything else is homemade. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> bit of bread, bit of dip, bit of fruit, bit of veg. Like, it was just perfect. The hummus was bought from a shop. One point gone. With the first course not quite hitting the mark, Debbie turns the spotlight. That's funny! Right? That's funny! It's on her guests. So, Lembit, a little birdie told me you've been doing some stand-up comedy. I have. You know, getting into oh, yes. Ian's game here. Yes. I want comedian. Is it true? I've done like about 13 or 14 events since the general election. Bit of spare time on yeah. your hands, fella. Uh, tell, tell us a joke. That was mean. That was mean. That was deliberately mean, because already at this point I thought he was a prick. So that was mean. Uh, um, hear about the... Oh, is it so awkward? I don't think. It's both for choice. The Marx Why do Marxists never drink Earl Grey tea? Who? Yeah. Why do Marxists or communists never oh. drink Earl Grey tea? Because property is theft. Property oh, is theft. Oh. He said some words and paused for a laugh. So I guess it, I guess it was a joke, but it was missing like the like the vital. It was missing the funny bit, which is the key. Ian's one. <laughs> I'm, I'm performing, but bear in mind, I've gone on here because I want, people are still associating me at this point, and they did right up until the jungle with the 11 o'clock show, which was mean, right, which was a mean program, was mean and nasty, um, and, but that, <laughs> that's funny. Those people who make gentle fun, it hasn't really dented my uh, fledgling stand-up career. Shame. Oh, I'm wearing a friendship band. There we go, that dates it nicely. I'm wearing a friendship band there. I just hope I haven't uh, annoyed him in any way or given him the impression that I think I'm better than him on stage. Trust, I'm not a comedian. Me, Lembit, I don't think he's worried. Everyone seems to be getting on really well. Very different, all of us. We're that completely top was different. very low. Um, but in a way, that's quite good. Back in the kitchen, Debbie stir fries chicken with curry paste. Thank you, basically, Ben. And I thank made you, this Mrs. paste ben. myself, and actually, it's a bit spicier than I normally do. She then adds some of the vegetarian curry she made earlier and tiger prawns before revealing another of her sneaky shortcuts. Um, I couldn't get a good um, jasmine rice, so I've got, I've got a microwavable one. Good luck getting that one past Ian. And it's ready. Debbie's main course of Thai chicken and prawn curry with a vegetarian version for Jodie and Ian. How long have you been veggie and why veggie? Um, 22 years, since I was 15. But if you don't have vitamin B12 that you can... 37 years old. What? Well, then it couldn't have been 2004. 22 years since I was 15. It's 37. So this is 10 years ago. Oh, it would have been. It, it would have. Oh, if we were leaving, it would have been 10 years. Oh, God, it's 10 years. It is 10 years because we were leaving the house. We had the baby. Four in a bed. We did have, the, if we were leaving the, ha leaving the flat to move to the house, then we did have the, the eldest baby. Yeah, it was, it was 10 years ago. Can only get from animal meat. Bullshit. 
Uh, you will be ill when you're older. Bullshit. That, well, really? Guaranteed. Absolute fact. Oh, all vegetarians. All. Uh, 100% vegetarians over well, 60 are ill. Not, yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> look on the internet. <laughs> well, if you did look on the internet... De Debbie's getting furious. Uh, Debbie, you'd find that B12 is also found in eggs and dairy products, so you're officially talking rubbish. <laughs> I think it's a laugh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Debbie McGee saying to me that everyone will die uh, who's a vegetarian by the age of 60 has made me consider buying some sausages. It's not worth taking the risk, is it? <laughs> oh, that's got a kick to it, Debbie. I'm being funny! <laughs> <laughs> they just hit me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I made the pace. Yeah, it's it's going to well be done. quite pokey, I think, is the word. Okay. <laughs> I think Debbie's been quite bold in terms of the amount of chilli that she put in there. Probably too much for some people, but this spot is on for me. It was nice, but it felt like there was something missing. The rice, I think, was just like boiling the bag rice. Busted! Back at the table, conversation moves on to just how hard it is for poor little celebrities to find love. Oh, do you agree with me? It's so hard. <laughs> David says, You're a horrible guest! Slagging the food off, arguing with those! It's calm dine with me, David! It's calm dine with me! Notice I'm not putting the theatre sign on. It's come down with me. It's what you're meant to do, you absolute melt. Hard to meet people, isn't it? I'm 31, I'm still single. It's uh, harder for you. You're wondering, is this guy coming on, or, you know, this person coming on to me because they've seen my knockers in a mag? Yeah, or which do they 100%, genuinely... No, 100% of the time they are only coming right. on for that. So you, you never get anyone... Don't trust anyone. You're right, Julie. You end up being quite cautious about people because you just assume that the motivation isn't very sincere. Yeah. She's kind of like... <laughs> was, oh, I mean, it's I want find, like, a boyfriend. And he's like, oh, yes, and I want to find a girlfriend. No, he was uh, French. And there's, they're definitely, like, flirting. I think I think I'd just come back from a holiday in Greece. I think, I'd, I, think I, I got the gig while I was on holiday in Greece, like a week before, maybe two weeks before. All right, Andy, just, just, watch, your, just watch your language, please. Watch your language. Jodie's just uh, a great lass. I've been very drawn into sorry, what oh, she's sorry. had to say. I am predicting a few more very enjoyable dinners, so watch this Thank space. You. Looks like this might be the start of something <laughs> beautiful. I'm not having a cheat. <laughs> I, I did swear earlier, but I'm allowed to fucking swear. Your car soft. <laughs> Blimey, when did you get so picky? <laughs> no. <laughs> Blimey, when did you get so picky? <laughs> oh, well, bad luck, old boy. And if that wasn't bad enough, things are about to get worse for Lembit with the arrival of his least favourite course, dessert. Especially as Debbie's serving up the one for two very sugary puds. Pavlova and velvet chocolate tort. Evening, all the gladness. Lempe? Confession time. I'm not very big on sugar. Right, so uh, cheese uh, and biscuits. But because you've made such an effort, I'm going to do something I almost never do. Right. Tiny little I taste. Uh, too much, too much, half of that. Yeah. You have no idea how momentous it is that I'm even going to try right. a sugar-based product. Um, yes, it's right up there with man landing on the moon, okay, Lempe. Strawberries. <laughs> this is lovely. Jolly good. I can see that this is very nice for people who <laughs> like sweet things. Please, it's absolutely it lovely. Very... You've got a weird all of a sudden. This is very sweet. Weird, isn't it? Lance, I didn't see this until it went out on the TV, and I knew what to expect, and I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone weird. I just I can't be sure. <laughs> Time for taxis, I think. And it got a bit weird towards the end of the evening when he started banging on about Wait. sugar and not doing desserts. What's that all about? He's an odd fish, isn't he? I like him, but he's odd. Inside there... I didn't like him. There be dragons, or in my world, there be sugar. I did the best I could. I don't think I could have done anything more. So, whatever happens, I'll be quite happy. I'm going to give it an eight. It? She does have a name, you know. Cut a couple of corners, so for that reason, I'm going to award Debbie McGee seven. Overall, a very credible cufflinks. Seven. Cufflinks. And hey, presto, despite a few colour... It's a lembit folds his socks before sex. Just everyone chill out. <sighs> Three shortcuts. Debbie's managed to conjure up a score of 22 out of 30. <laughs> Day two, and it's the turn of dessert-hating lembit. This is like an apartment. He doesn't live in, that's not a whole house. He lives in I'm just like the ground floor flat. quite bashful about second-guessing what people think of me. I hope they found me entertaining. <laughs> That's one word for it. Too bad he's sort of quite please. a strange, unusual character. Oh, Debbie. So he's not Going for the a sailor typical girl, man, really. I think Lembit is a bit eccentric, but in a really good way. Did she say eccentric? 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 
And hey presto, despite the a taxis puke. don't take you home. There's only one taxi, and it just drives you around. And you you go out and you do your bit. It drives you around for half an hour, and I get car sick. I can't really. I can't read or talk in cars very well. I get motion sick, so that was horrible. Then you come back and they go, right, Jody, it's your turn, Jody. And you go, la, 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 la. Takes fucking ages. We didn't leave Debbie's house until 2 a.m. Culinary shortcuts. Debbie's managed to conjure up a score. I look stoned there. I love it. Is Endrick. Day two, and it's the turn of dessert-hating Lembit to host in his London bachelor pair. Is Endrick. Is Endrick. Quite bashful about second guessing what people think of me. I wasn't stoned then, I was clean. I hope I they find me entertaining. That's one word for it. For maybe he's sort five of or quite six a years, strange, actually. unusual character. So he's not a Probably typical five, man, years, really. Clean, yeah. I think Lembit is a bit eccentric, but in he's a Hendrick. really good way. He's Hendrick. I can just feel it now. As soon as I start cooking, I feel just great. This, this soup. I sometimes think maybe disgusting. I should start a restaurant, and goodness knows I've got enough time at the moment. What, quitting stand up already? Ah! Probably a good thing. Chef Opic's first job of the day is his stuff. Broccoli and Stilton soup. As long as the Stilton's not too strong, I'll like the soup. He'll be adding the cheese at the last minute. So for now, he makes his soup base by blending together raw broccoli, onion and water. Yes, you heard that right, raw broccoli. Since I've lost my job, I've had to make pretty huge changes to my lifestyle. Downsizing my expenditure, basically. That's a pretty handy excuse for having spent roughly four pound fifty on your starter. That's absolutely disgusting. What a surprise! Which means it's going just the way it always does. That's encouraging. His disgusting well, soup left to Thank simmer. Lemmick moves on to his night. main vegetable ramen. This is, this is ramen, Raymond. <laughs> I don't know. Ramen, ramen, Raymond. Oh no, I'm one of those people on Come Dine with Me who can't say the food that's on the menu. Basically, it's. Uh, a soupy. No, not you, David. Lembit, Jesus. Like vegetable broth. Well, that clears that up. Sounds delicious. Lembit is using a slow cooker to make his broth and adds a selection of vegetables before separately frying some mushrooms and onion. You can smell that. <sighs> ah. You OK there? Well, if Venus and uh, the other Williams can make noises when they play tennis... Thank you, Joe. ..they're world class, and I can do it in my kitchen. Parsley. Hey! Curry leaf. Ha ha! Ooh! Oregano. Arriba, arriba, on delay. Ooh! Ginger. I've never heard any tennis players make noises like that. And the Williams sisters definitely never played a harmonica. <laughs> oh, just we get jammed. on with it, will we you? We jammed, I think, on Thank the ukulele. Thank the you, heart. Herbs. <laughs> So there it is, more okay. dodgy looking watery stuff. I think somehow I've got the native ability to cook. Somehow I can you, do the sums, you, you the, just wow the herbal me up so sums. much. Well, at least so you much. believe in yourself. Finally, it's so on to the moment Lembit's been dreading. Mum's banana! Mum's banana. He doesn't like sugar and he doesn't like desserts. So maybe Mum's banana is, is literally just a banana that belonged to that his woman mom. In the background. That woman in the background. Oh. Thankfully, even Lembit isn't that cheap. I'm trying to recreate just about the only dessert that I would regularly have, which is still quite sweet, and it's something my mum used to make on barbecues. He starts by sprinkling each banana with his ingredient from hell, sugar. <laughs> I think I'm developing an obsession with sugar. The sugar must die. Weirdo. He then adds cinnamon, butter and lemon juice before wrapping the bananas in foil to be baked in the oven later. Prep done. Lembit moves on to set his table and he's not leaving anything to chance in his efforts he's to win the £1,000 charity prize. Crockery, I have been meaning to get new uh, crockery for about four years. Surprised you didn't get it on expenses. And that's what I've done. Nothing too fancy. And it's time to find out if all his flash efforts will be rewarded as first guest Jody is here. This is... The, they sent me the uh, DVD. Oh, that's them. Talk about not being prepared. Come on, man, you can't keep a lady waiting. Oh, wait, it's only Jody. Yellow pages. Yellow pages. <laughs> Hi. Hi, sorry about that. How are you? This is it. Oh. Not much, but it's home. Oh, what, you live in the garden? Nice. I, like <laughs> I don't remember the garden. Next in, it's Ian. Hello. I... There's a new shop, Untucked, that sells shirts that are made to be untucked. It's so difficult to find shirts to untuck. Now, admittedly, that one's looking a bit long. It might be a shirt I bought in America that's too big for me. It could be in a minute. Well, I'll look at the front. But 
why would you have a whole shop that's shirts that are made untucked? I, I can, I just untuck my shirts. Hi, Hi, mate, how are you doing? I like the Sorry, I was right America. at the far end of my, of my mansion. Oh, you're in the East Wing. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you. And finally, here's Mrs Paul Daniels. It's been so long. Mm, I can't give the minute. So <laughs> sexy. With everyone together. Good luck, Lembit. Thank you for letting us come. Lembit has an announcement to make. Now then, I actually have got a little bit of a... I suppose you could say a surprise. A minor entertainment, if you're interested in. All right. Outside. It's going to be fun. Sure. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. What would a politician organise? And why would we be going out onto the street? Yeah. yeah. Something tells me you'd never guess right Ooh, in a those million years. Those were my stunt cons. White converse that I only wore on TV. So they're, they're, they're spotless. Yes. Thank stunt you. cons. What they didn't show is that he actually had a whole entertainment. He had the Segway sisters, who are brilliant, really brilliant act, in his living room singing for him. It was all sponsored by Segway. He's sponsored. Hello, Ollie. He's sponsored by Segway. It's the weirdest thing, man. Told you. Segway. Oh, brilliant. Segway. Oh, this is brilliant. I've always wanted to go on one. Always, 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 always. Um, I became like geeky cool, which I kind of like. <laughs> it's the hardest thing in the world to write. <laughs> That was the best thing we could possibly have done. This is amazing. It was just brilliant. I loved every second of it. Ooh, it's I did come great. flying off my think you kind of see it out the corner. Debbie McGee, flipping heck. She was like, shoom, shoom, shoom. <laughs> we were whizzing about and it was fantastic. I think they like them. <laughs> you were sponsored by Segway, though, so that's cheating. I had to pay for it. Maybe they'll be disappointed by the food, but we'll find out. There's no maybe about it, <laughs> especially look, as look, look unusually, Lembitz decided not to blend the cheese into his soup. So it actually has lumps of delicious... Look at that, look at the texture of that Stilton there. Ah, oh, it's so good. Not the word I'd use. Good luck, everyone. It's Lembitz's very unique version oh, of broccoli and awful. Stilton soup. You've used a good Stilton as well. What's the matter, uh, Debbie? Uh, Thought you'd be used to big lumps of cheese. And I left it out all afternoon. <laughs> What are you laughing at? No, Your no. soup. Oh, we're saying we're happy. I'm happy. We're, we're happy. We're having a good time. Sometimes I don't think Jody's broccoli and Stilton either. soup. Could the Stilton's wrong. melted into it, and you don't really know it's there. I'm drinking. But it had some yeah, quite big lumps of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right down there, Debbie. <laughs> Nearly 300. Come back to you, shall we? Me on your Saturday night. Ian, the soup. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! Stay in his bedroom. The broccoli bit was fine. It was just I'm really not interested. <laughs> oh, I give up. I thought they were laughing at the food. They were. I was just amazed, no, considering I'm so confident no, as a cook, no, how suddenly underconfident I become when I'm, when I'm serving something. Ignorance is bliss, <laughs> eh? <laughs> egg noodles in. Are you high, Dave? Very fine egg noodles. Ploughing on, Lembit puts the final Funkin touches to his equally unique main course. Now, I want them to really enjoy it. Yeah. I just realised I really care about this. Really care. Put on a brave face, everybody. It's State more grey runny Disgusting. stuff, but this time it's got noodles in it. It can only be Lembit's vegetable ramen. So way. how did you learn how to cook this then? He um, hasn't yet. I, I looked a little bit at how one of the restaurants. I've got three hundred and fifty-eight viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're watching. <laughs> I lost it. I got beaten by this. Spoiler alert. We're watching. Come dine with me. This is a show that I was on ten years ago. Did it? Actually, it tastes much better than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best I've ever had. It was healthy. Thank you, Alter Beastie. But that was about it. What is? Sorry. That? You haven't missed me cooking, no, not yet. Luckily for Lembit, it looks as though he'll never know what his guests really think about his culinary crimes. Lembit is like a very sweet, innocent, slightly weird child that you want to be nice to and be friendly to. And I think he's very comfortable about his... I think I'm being funny here. Lembit is like a very sweet, innocent, slightly weird child that so you want to be weird. nice to and be friendly to. And I think he's very comfortable about his cooking because people have always gone, oh, your cooking's very good, Lembit. Oh, very good, marvellous cooking. Like because they don't want to hurt his feelings and stuff like that. We were all doing it out there. The balance is absolutely perfect. His cooking was shit. It was shit cooking. 
It looks like I'm wearing a wig, like doesn't it? it? I'm relieved to hear you say that, Miss Watson. Yeah. Sympathy vote in hand. Tonight's host is keen to hear Jodie's views on an issue they've both had trouble with in the past. Do you ever get tired of the depression? The press I've been intrusion. on Sunday brunch, Lance. Yeah, but that's why I don't really do it anymore. I wouldn't go out of my way to, like, court the press and, you know, and try and get my... What the production crew would do is they would come in and sometimes they would... They, well, or they would say, OK, guys... They, they, they would say before before or if you were taken off maybe you could go back in and just ask them about this and they'd kind of give you a topic to talk about or if they were out, if they'd taken one of you out quite often it was three of us at a time while the other person was off recording their views and we were told not to have i to blow my nose in them because it's really itchy, not to have interesting conversations well, uh, 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 and quite often you'd have like a runner, like a young runner there with the three of you while one person was off being filmed. And if you were having an interesting conversation, they go, oh, 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 uh, guys, 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 can we stop this and just do this on camera? And you sort of go, no, I don't think so. Uh, followers only chat for the moment, guys, because we're getting flooded a little bit with some um, dickheads. So please follow. You don't have to subscribe, but please follow. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. My eyes are looking down here. My eyes are looking down here. To look here, we would have to be at this angle. No. The eye is looking down here. So I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Am I active in real life? Yes. I In... in IRL in in real IRL life, I am very active. Yes. Picture taken and try. Oh come on! I have loads of pictures of me out there and people seeing my daily life. But you say you don't like being famous, but being yeah. on TV is perpet. If you didn't want yeah, to be famous, yeah, you, could go, you could go and disappear. And no, yeah, you're right. It. Come on! Can't just go and get a normal job. Once you open, here we go. And I think he's very confident about his cooking because people have always gone. It's the Pandora's box shit. Oh, come on! A little bit at how one of the restaurants did it. Actually, it tastes much better than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best I've ever had. It was healthy. Thank you, Matty. Oh. But that was about it. Sorry. Luckily for Limbit, it looks as though he'll never know what his guests really think about his culinary crimes. Lembit is like a very sweet, innocent, slightly weird child that you want to be nice to and be friendly to. And I think he's very comfortable about his cooking. Oh, Jodie's great. I love... Gone, oh, this, the whole week was Lembit. horrendous. I hated very it. marvellous cooking. Because I they don't want to hurt his feelings and stuff it. like that. We were all doing it out it. there. The balance. But that's just it's me, because I'm weird. I, I don't really like being it. around people. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Oh, come on! In hand, tonight's host is keen to hear Jodie's views on an issue they've both had trouble with in the past. Do you ever get... Tired of the depression, the press intrusion. Yeah, but that's why I don't really do it anymore. I wouldn't go out of my way to like I got off the in this press and you know and try and get my picture taken and try and have loads of pictures of me out I did there use and my real house David. seeing my daily life. Like but you say you don't like being famous, but being yeah. on TV is perpet if you didn't want yeah, to be yeah, famous, you could, go, you could go and disappear and no, yeah, you're right. I could. Over. Can't just go and get a normal job. Once you open that Pandora's box. You can never shut it again. Of course you can shut it. Again. No, you can't. There's simple ways to avoid it. Don't you can. walk around with not many clothes on. Don't keep banging on about going out with a pops. There's just, you know, there's ways to avoid it. I've managed to avoid it. Simple. That's because nobody wants to see you with not many clothes on, Ian. Next, it's time to dessert real, for our eager to please host. A real Mums big bananas, argument about that. A really big argument minutes. about that. I hope and I, refuse I have to do not it let my camera. mother down. Not sure even Miss. Oh, come on! Never mind what it looks like. I'm not going to win on presentation. Clearly. I'm going to win on taste. Look at the state Count of that. Count your blessings, everyone. It's Jesus. tonight's final course. Imagine serving Mum's that banana. up. Mum's banana. And no sniggering at the back there, please. Imagine serving that up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is actually exactly how it used to look. Wow, I remember it now. it used to look like a dog poo. That's incredible. <laughs> I think it looked like something else, personally. <laughs> like Lembit's like banana. That Lembit's banana. Eating yours, Lembit? No. <laughs> no. Hang on, you're... you're I, I, I will try. Big argument. It's the sweet thing. 
It does seem odd that you've, you've made a dessert that you can't or won't eat. Because I, I know that everybody else does. And it's not like I'm This is really partly for camera, no, partly I'm fucking I think what? that you would be disappointed if you didn't have a sweet meal. So not at all. Really? I'm more disappointed that you're not joining us in the dessert. All I can say to you is, it's like if, if I loved anchovies and you hated anchovies, yeah. and you gave me anchovies, I'd be grateful. But I wouldn't expect you to eat them. But I wouldn't give them to you. If you gave me anchovies, because I love them. I'm totally lost. Even if you don't eat them. If, if you basically made a meat dish for me, you wouldn't eat it. That's, that's different, because I don't eat meat no, it's not for an, It is different. I don't eat meat for Proper ethical angry. reasons, but I would be polite enough to give you some meat. But to make a dessert which you know specifically... I don't want to make this into a big issue. I don't yeah. want to fall out. Too late! Too late for that! Too late! <laughs> that's it! Too late! It was already a big issue! This had gone on for about 15 minutes and those two wouldn't talk and it was really awkward and uncomfortable! And everyone... Everyone... I've explained this argument to, apart from Dave, everyone has gone, I don't get why you were so upset, Ian. It doesn't make sense. Everyone. And I'm thinking, I'm doing this to try and change my image. Right? And look like a nice guy. And in the middle of this argument, I'm thinking, oh, fuck. Fuck. This bit wasn't a performance. This bit was real. This bit was real. This bit was real. The gloves are off. <laughs> Let's get the cheese board out, shall we? <laughs> oh, come on. I will happily get you the cheese board. Beautiful. We were, I wasn't bothered. We're Sorry for this. It's not a great dish. Sorry, guys. Because I know that he doesn't like sugar. It did kind of um, escalate into a bigger argument than perhaps it should have done. And I think maybe that's because Lembit, it, sorry, Lembit used to be a politician. Oh. Yeah. And they like arguing. I think a little, nice like little testosterone dig. came out with that banana. I was disappointed That's with what two I meant, courses PJ. that were quite watery. That's what I meant. And the mum's banana war. So for that reason, I'm going to give Lembit six. Oh, I gave I him a six. I loved the sick ways. I gave him a six. I thought, OK, originally I gave him a three. Originally I gave him a three. Thank you. You've explained. Um, PJ and Dave have explained my argument a whole lot better. So far, I've just seen you go to people's houses and insult them, says David. All right. Brilliant, brilliant night, so I'm going to give it an eight. I'm giving Lembit an eight. Fucking eight. Somehow, despite some very Two eights for that dishes, shit. Lembit goes Two eights top banana for with that Dizzy after shit. 22. Coming up. It's my house. Oh, they, they did keep Panda's Rock. I've got that. If anyone wants to buy it off me, you can. 200 quid. He makes a firm impression. He's like... I think his eyes literally came out for a second. I threw, I threw that book away. That book is um, is a biography of London. And I, I had that book there 10 years ago. And I bought it maybe five years before. And I threw it away two days ago. Just because I never read it. Never read it. They've been on stalks. I'm sure they did. Lambert gets his... Look at that. Look at the CDs. Look at these shelves. These shelves cost... Those shelves cost me three... I'm embarrassed to say it. Thousand pounds. Records, records. They were three thousand pounds for shelves. Have you got two hundred pounds, Boily? That sofa, those are the best sofas. Oh god, those sofas were so Thank you, Ollie. I'm like waiting for David to apologize to me. In fact, I'm waiting for David to apologise to me. Small boat's worth of shelves. I was on good on LBC. Those sofas were so great for sleeping on. The best sofas in the world. On LBC, I was on really good money. I was on really, really good money. Revenge. I just don't feel very comfortable that I'm making something that you're not eating. <laughs> I'm, I'm being the nice guy here. Now I'm being the nice guy. This whole episode, I'm being nice. The whole episode, 
I'm being nice. Had his men asking me for naked pictures of me. Oh, that hat, that flat. I apologise when you don't chuck Jodie's dinner at all and tell her to fuck off. David, David, David. What's a bitter client? Of our celebrity cook -off. Oh, and look at that gorgeous house. Coney Hatch Lane. Coney Hatch Lane. Oh, you're fucking joking. Oh, you're joking. Because Lembit, it, sorry, it, Lembit used to be. Coney Hatch Lane, Muswell Hill. I'm but I'm cool guy shirt. That was me. That was me in the corner. I got a DV drive for 15 quid. Everyone said it'd be good. It's day three of our celebrity cook off, and comedian Ian Lee's turn to host in his never North London home. But he's still mulling over Lembit's refusal to eat his own dessert. That's the box that we got velvet in. Isn't that funny seeing that? That used to be, when I moved into that flat, that was a bedroom. And the where the CDs were is where the kitchen used to be. At last night. I think Lembit and I both um, were quite strong willed. It's the grey. The grey started here. Did, we... Did you have to hide anything before they came? I said they couldn't go, they could only film in the kitchen, the living room, and then there's like an office at the end of the flat. They couldn't go in. We had two other bedrooms. They couldn't go in either of those bedrooms. I don't think I have to hide, hide anything. I'm quite argumentative. I don't think he fully gets how little I like sugar. I mean, it's an active dislike. Yeah, Ian, it's an active... I'm so handsome! I am so handsome! In the loft, in the loft space, Beastie. I am so handsome! So handsome! Dislike. It's the same as providing people with a meat option. It's not. When you yourself are a vegetarian. It's not. Well, you should mention that. This is the recipe written down. Um, my Greek mother-in-law gave me the ingredients. Tell me what to do. You have to have the blinds shut. They buggered up that window, I seem to remember. As vegetarian Ian will be serving two separate main courses. Greeky salmon for the meat eaters and spanakopita for the veggies. I should have given everyone spanakopita. Which is, is um, like cheese and spinach pie, spinach pie. She's giving everyone that because it's fucking great. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Look at that guy's hair! Whoa, dude! What is it? Business at the front, party at the back. To do both. Two different uh, main courses and he's not eating one of them. I think that means Ian and me are one all on that. It doesn't. It doesn't. It really, really doesn't. That's cool. Do be continued tonight. Ian will cook the salmon when his guests arrive. So for now, he cracks on with his spanakopita, which is a Greek spinach and feta pie. I'm doing Greek because my wife's half Greek uh, and her mother is 100% Greek, full Greek. 100% she... Greek, full Greek. I shouldn't have done a meat dish, mystery chips. I shouldn't have done a meat dish. That was my downfall. That was my downfall. Hi, Brie. I'll do what the hell I want to do on my stream, you piece of trash. All right, if I want to bang my fist, I will bang my fist. If you don't like it, you can get the hell out of here, you piece of trash. She's an excellent cook. <clears throat> Ian layers together phyllo pastry with a feta, spinach and red onion filling. If I was a proper Greek, I'd have knocked off six of these by now. They're just kind of bish bash bosh and do it. Get on with it. So get on with it then, man. <coughs> Ta -da! That's a good pie. Ian pops his pie in the oven and That's moves on to pie. the starter. Mental meze. I don't think... I, I think they made up those names. They made up those names. They made up those names. I didn't make up those names. Including Tzatziki and the second <coughs> appearance of the week. We're only halfway us. through. It's going to be all Greek tonight, folks. There's no fooling Debbie. But it's seems still banging on about her corner cutting on night one. Her hummus was bought from a shop. My hummus is going to be made by these hands. Looks like you're using a food processor to me. For his homemade hummus, Ian blends together chickpeas, garlic, lemon juice and olive oil and sets it aside to be served with the rest of his meze later. And it's on to dessert. 
Frowless Fru Fru. Or maybe I Frowless Fru Fru. I did come up with that name, I think. That rings a bell. Frowless Fru Fru. That rings a bell. Who knows? No tahin. No tahin it's, in. it's foreign. I don't, know, I don't know what tahinin is, Joe. Sorry, I have to go with your first message. I don't know what tahinin is, I'm afraid. It's like a foreign language. What, Greek? I shall march towards the sound of gunfire and see what he offers me. Whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be about eating your ass. Fraulis is uh, Greek for strawberries and Fru Fru is Greek for fussy. I did make it's that basically name up. Fraulis Fru Fru. Strawberry mousse. Fraulis Fru Fru. Ian starts by blending his fruit. Sort of. Strawberries are not blending. Well, a couple at the bottom probably are, but that's about it. Don't try this at home, kids. Blend. Come on, guys. Oh. Come on. Come on. Take a run up. Gunfire. Take a run see up. See what he offers me. Will it blend? Will it not? Please, blend? I'm sure you'll moan about eating it. Fraulis is uh, Greek for strawberries, and Fru Fru is Greek for fussy. It's basically strawberry mousse. Ian Sweat starts matches. by blending his fruit. Sort of. Strawberries are not blending. Well, a couple at the bottom probably are, but that's about it. Don't try this at home, kids. Blend. I've made all of this the day before, or, or the, oh. week, the weekend, to test this out. I'd made all of this before. There we go. Come on. They're blending. Oh, it's only a little bit that's been chipped off. Lembit will probably get that bit. <laughs> well, that's hardly going to help relations, but at least he'll probably like wood chips more than the next ingredient. Sugar! Thank it's you, like Sucha. night to him. He goes all crazy. Sorry, Lembit. Say it like you mean it. Ian whisks the sugar together with some beaten egg whites, folds in cream and his blended strawberries before decanting the mixture into glasses to set. And not a moment too soon, as tonight's first guest is here, Ian's sugar-hating sparring partner. He gave me a book ah, and they don't show it. Let me see you again. Yeah. That book he wrote. Wow. That house, look at that beautiful room. house. The size of my entire house. <laughs> Next up, it's Debbie, who appears to be disguised as one of Paul's magic tricks. Oh, look, it's Debbie McGee looking gorgeous. Wow, look at you! Oh, thank oh, dear. you. What a delight to see you again. Have you recorded? Oh, oh, there's a picture of, I think, my mum now. No, no. Sorry if it keeps f uh, freezing. Sorry that it, it, it keeps freezing. It's a shitty DVD. What can I do? Come down. You've got to see it when Jodie comes in. I can skip forward now. Oh bollocks! Sorry, 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 sorry. So for now, he. We might, we might miss when we can't miss when Jody comes in because it's integral. Oh, bollocks! Oh no! 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 Dizzy Gillespie Monthly. Centre door window is filthy, isn't it? So that was a, a, an old house that was converted into two flats. I had the top floor and some people had the bottom floor. Then when we moved out, we sold it to the people, down, we sold my flat to the people downstairs for a lot more than we would have got for it on the market. I like that flat. Sometimes I wish I'd stayed there. I think this disk drive is broken. This disk drive that you told me to buy. Is, Lem is Limmy on at 10 or 11 tonight? It's getting hot. Turn the heating off. Mm. 
He's on at 11. Oh, okay, fine. And he'll probably get that bit. <laughs> well, that's hardly going to help relations, but at least he'll probably like wood chips more than the next ingredient. Sugar! It's, it's like kryptonite to him. He goes all crazy. Sorry, Lambert. Say it like you mean it. Ian whisks the sugar together with some beaten egg whites, folds in cream and his blended strawberries before decanting the mixture into glasses to set. Hey ho! And not a moment if too love soon, were all. Tonight's first guest is here. That Ian's window is filthy. sugar hating sparring partner, Lembit. Ah, Lembit. I once got locked again. in that hallway for two hours. Wow. I was very, very high on drugs and my drug dealer my outside. <laughs> Next up, Awful. it's Debbie, who appears to be disguised as one of Paul's magic tricks. And he wouldn't post the... Oh, the look, drugs it's Debbie McGee looking good. Wow, look at you! Oh, oh dear, you. I was just stuck there for well, two well, hours. Nice to see you again. Mm. Have you oh, calm down, Lembit, she's a married woman. And finally, it's Debbie's competition in the style stakes, Jody. Still trying not to get noticed, are we? Hello. Look, look how low those trousers oh. are. Oh. 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 Look at his face, look at his face! I'm right, how are you? Did you see the look? On Lembit's face when Jody came in, all oh, Olivia Newton John from the end of Greeks is like, oh, oh. He's like, I think his eyes literally came out for a second on stalks. I'm sure they did. Paul, I love Paul people for. All right, so this is the office. Oh, look! Baby, baby, baby. Baby, ba CB, this is the office. Uh, some of the stuff here wouldn't normally be here. That's a picture of uh, Mount Fuji in a. Shaker, the snow globe that we got for our wedding. Um, what, what books we got? Tokyo, Beatles, Beach Boys. A style, a stylophone that someone had got me. Um, those are murderers. That's the Yorkshire Ripper. Don't remember that alarm clock. Michael Palin. Um, some records, DVDs, CB. But this being here, I think they might have moved this. I think they might have moved this. That lamp certainly didn't belong there. Ukulele case, I think. It's funny, isn't it funny looking back at your house? Do you talk to people on CB radio? No, if I'm honest, it didn't. It, it um, we didn't have the aerial set up there. Sometimes I'd put the aerial through the window and you could kind of get it to work. You needed a big old aerial on the roof. Um, it's really weird looking at your house from 10 years ago from when you, I think we just had a baby a few months before, married, happily married, not long married, probably a year, been married for a year. And you look back at that and, um, it's so familiar and yet so foreign. So familiar and, 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 and yet not. What's inside? Melancholy. Oh, come on! It's, but uh, tonight, there's no doubt that the yeah. packaging's making an altogether positive impression. Oh, you dirty old man! Leaving Lembit next door, enjoying the view, Ian plates up his meze starter. It worked. This morning, the oh. it now almost exists because I have made this myself. It's not out of a packet or anything. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and serve it. By me. All I'm saying is, Debbie, look and learn. Ian's opener is a mental meze, including tzatziki and a mental meze. Oh, that was like off triple M. We used to have a himself. section of the show, mixed mental mayhem. Uh, so uh, I, I have, have some uh, some homemade hummus, Debbie, <gasps> and uh, that'll be the sound of a dead horse being flogged, Ooh. and some homemade tzatziki. I did notice um, Ian's little um, aside to me about hummus because I'd bought mine. Oh, look, there's a space under there. We had shoes there. I don't remember that space. Upstairs was the loft conversion. But my. My hummus was a stand. The other things. That phone. So um, I, I ignored it. So there, Ian. When the starter first came out, I thought, oh, that's such a cop out. Like, it's so yeah. simple. But in all fairness, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. You and Paul must have had, over the years, though, some kind of like weird fans. I think we were asked, I was told to ask that question. Just really kind of nice, <laughs> I guess. normal people. Yeah. Jody, you must get, you, you know, with the yeah. nature of your really like freaks. I had this driver. Oh, look at that picture. It's mine and my wife's feet in Paris. Isn't funny? Nice fireplace. Got that fireplace done. That was painted red when I moved in. Uh, Tessa chose that wallpaper. She was the girlfriend before I got married. 
Do you, do you need to know any of this? Once I was in the back of his car and he said, well, Jody, like, I want to be a model. And he was like, you know, being that you're like professional, blah, blah, would you mind having a look at my pictures and tell me what you think? And I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, okay. Got them out. He was just stark naked <laughs> in the pictures. <laughs> no, he wasn't. All I've ever had is men asking me for naked pictures of me. <laughs> so mine's the opposite way around, so I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me or something wrong with her? I'm not sure. Well, that depends on whether you sent them back pictures. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't send pictures, Debbie. Back in the kitchen, and Ian bakes some salmon fillets with pesto and re and feta pie he made earlier. Yeah, okay. And both the main courses are ready to go. Not Greeky pies, salmon great. for the meat eaters, plus spanakopita for Ian and Jody, along with the opportunity for Lembit to get his own back. Cooked very well, it's lovely. I just don't feel very comfortable that I'm eating something that you're not eating. I'm being nice about it because I'm a nice guy, but I'm thinking, you prick. No. No. Touche, touche. No, we waited for it, and, and you're right to say no, so. No, I, don't no, think I behaved very badly. I was very rude, Lembert, and I apologise. I have got your tiny little thing to say sorry. <laughs> it is science fiction books by Kurt Vonnegut, oh. who is, what, who is well, I think, one of the greatest uh, lost writers of the time. To do this. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Although he didn't need to give me anything. He thought about what I found interesting, and that happens to be a book that I really, really want to read. So next time I'm on holiday, I'll be taking the book and thinking about Ian. So thank you, David. So because of me, he's going to have a wank about me. Kurt is my favourite author as well. He's better than Murakami. Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, me and Lembit are friends now. Turns out he's a really nice guy. <laughs> He is a nice guy, and we were getting on really well. I'm and, acting um, here. Yeah, I just want to look nice if he wants on to TV. Come and, like, have a sleepover or something. <laughs> Play video games. And that's even. <laughs> Someone mention the food before this turns into a loving. This um, pie is lovely. Is it all right? Really good. You had a bit of crisp on the top, so a bit of crunch, and then it was soft, and it... it's just lovely. Have the fish I met Jody was cooked sense? really, no, really no, well. Yeah. It's cooked right it's through. Spoken, right? Sometimes that's quite hard without being dry. Ladies and gentlemen. So far, so good. And time for Ian I to... I paid for these entertainers. Everyone else got their stuff free and I paid. A surprise on his guest. They were nice, the really nice some people, some Greek though. dancers. <laughs> come on, Lambert, come on. I want to see you. I want to see you bust a few moves. I'm up, I'm up. Oh, it's the fast one, is it? I don't remember where I got them from. Two, nine, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Debbie's got it. You know, I was expecting to just kind of sit there and watch them dance. So to be involved was a lot more fun than just watching it. We had some great fun, and actually, I feel I've learnt a new skill today. Yes, to go with your bad stand-up comedy and your appalling cooking. Oh, I think mean, well done. I think my night is uh, a lot better than Lembit's. Now that's no way to talk about your new best mate. Look at the separation on that. Plus, there's still one more course to go, and it looks like there's a problem. Let's be honest. This is a mistake. This should all be one solid pink mass. But I'm going to tell them this is how the Greeks do it. <laughs> they won't know any different. Let's see if they're stupid enough to fall for it, then. That was my hand. That's actually my but hand. The trick is, underneath, is getting the... To, to sit there. Fantastic. Very impressed. Thank you. Yep, yeah, they're right. stupid enough. <laughs> how did you actually get the juice well, down there? Well, it involves um, putting the sugar in earlier than you think it would be, that I'd put the sugar in. Anyway, let's dig in, shall we? And, uh... yeah. Oh, it looks like he's just about got away with it. But hang on, what's this? Lembit eating a dessert? Mmm, we don't... I actually like it. We don't... Why? Well, David, who's a liar? Who are you calling a liar? Oh, there, you're saying I'm lying. I want you to be ill. <laughs> I'm not going to be ill, actually. You see that there? That is from the TV series Lost. That is uh, The Hatch. It'll mean something to you. That is the hatch and people standing around the hatch. And I had that for years. I had that until today. I took it to the dump today. I took it to the dump today. It was all soggy and rotten. I took it to the dump today. You like it? I've had an epiphany. Watch him, he goes mental. My, my sugar mentor. <laughs> I love you, man. Oh, you're the best you, you are. Somebody fetch me a bucket. <laughs> I really like this. If there's a load of sugar in it, yeah. it's working for me. Clearly. 
So it's we'll, lovely. This is very light. History, history in the making, ladies. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Quick, someone get him home before he has a sugar rush. <laughs> oh, regret this. No, look, look. The table. <laughs> uh oh, too late. What is going it on? It went off for ages, that though. The world has gone mad. Lembit has just eaten all of sugary dessert we've ever seen. It's hard to explain, really, but it just didn't taste too sweet. And I suspect, in absolute terms, there wasn't too much sugar in it. There was a lot of sugar in there, and when he left, he was buzzing. I'm, I'm hoping. You know, it's not caused some kind of major come down. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Lembit. Lembit, are you all right there? In my book, that was a really good night tonight, and so I'm giving Ian and The main course was a what? An eight. amazing, but everything else wasn't quite as good Fuck as off. Debbie and Lembit. So I'm really sorry, Ian, but I'm giving you a seven. Fuck off, Thanks, Lembit! Lembit. So Fuck off! Ian has a Greek tragedy on his hands. Fuck off! Himself bottom of the table with a Fuck off, Lembit! Lembit can fuck right off! Just fuck off stitching me up like that, you right fucking prick. It's the final day of the competition and Jodie Marsh's turn to make her bid for the thousand... She's cooking in the Essex home she shares with her four dogs. Double, thank you. Yeah! <laughs> You're right, But Chris, her yeah. guests have someone else on their mind. I did get a little concerned for Lembit just before I left because he said he wasn't feeling too good after eating dessert. So I'm um, just waiting to see today whether it has had any after effects. Very rare for me to eat a pudding. And I paid for it. I hardly slept, probably about two hours. Bullshit. Sweat, that'll teach me. All that after one bowl Bullshit. of strawberry mousse. I'm guessing you'll be wanting to steer clear of Jodie's dessert tonight then. Ginger and orange syrup cheesecake. I can sometimes Each day is literally the next year. We did it Monday, oh. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, when Thursday. Jodie is eager to show the others she's not just a pretty Monday face Thursday, by impressing did. them with her cooking skills. Whoa! I basically just taught myself to cook. Hang on. The Hatch box set from Lost is £169 on Amazon. I just threw it away. Oh, well. My brother trained to be a chef, oh, well. so I picked up lots of tips from him. Right, they're done. They need to go in the fridge now. I think it will surprise a lot. Uh, oh, if gorgeous. Jodie manages to pull this off. Jodie's got her knockers, um, and I think she's really going to show everybody. The old ones are the best, eh, Ian? Jodie makes her individual cheesecakes by adding chopped preserved it ginger... Was, do you know what? It was all mouldy now. The box was damaged. It was wet. It was damp. It, it went. It went. It Perfect. went. Perfect. Done. In the essential part. It was symbolic as well. Of a and if you fancy a bit of spatula licking yourself, check out the Channel 4 website for tonight's recipes. Done! Ta -da! Ta -da! Her food was <laughs> yes, amazing. Yes, when you're quite ready, there's a bit more cooking to do yet. Jodie's making a twice-baked cheese souffle for her yes, main, in with the addition of herb-crusted rack of lamb for the carnivores. Souffle's hard to do, isn't it? That's really hard, I think. I like that top. Good luck. I like that top. I love lamb. And fair dues to her as a vegetarian to cook, because I know how strongly she feels about meat-eating. Jodie's cooked her cheese souffles once already and will bake them again before serving. So for now, she gets on with preparing the lamb. Nice rack, love. He <laughs> really can't stress enough how much I don't like doing this. That is what a vegetarian's worst nightmare. <laughs> he'd recently. But I want to know um, how to cook meat, and you know that's why I talk about it. He'd recently lost his job as an MP. Got you know, ultimately, out. I do want to get married and have kids and all the rest of it, and I want to be a good wife, and I want to be able to that's do. That's why he's at the job centre things that any other normal person would do, and much as I'm far from normal. Well, now you come to mention it. <laughs> Jodie seals the meat in a pan, smears on some mustard, and finishes the crust, ready to be roasted in the oven later. So all that's left to prep is her starter. Organic, free-range poached eggs served with asparagus I and I make a funny here sauce. about hollandaise sauce, and people thought if I was an idiot. she made hollandaise sauce, that's going to be flipping amazing. Ian, I make a prepare joke. to be amazed as Jodie slowly whisks melted butter into a mixture of egg yolks and white exactly, wine Pete. vinegar. Exactly. And it's done. That is looking wicked. I mean, that looks exactly I make a as brilliant those joke. should look. And no one, everyone Not thought I was an idiot. Apart from my friend boots. Mackenzie watched this and went, I really Am liked I? your joke Look. about hollandaise sauce. No. I went, oh my no, God, you no. got it! So one massive tattoo. Said, yeah, of course. Quite complete, all that's left to do is undress for the evening. Pin-up girl, I suppose, is a good way to describe Lembit's it. You know, diamond heels and, and a sexy tight dress.
As well as showing off her well-rounded personality, Jodie has an extra trick up it's her coming, sleeve. Tobes. A pair of it's waiters coming. who aren't quite what they seem. They're not really help, they're just pretending to be help because later on they're going to be surprising the guests with some very special entertainment. No time to explain. Gay sex. Uh, they won't show it, they did a gay Last sex thing on the table. I mean, it was, it was obscene, but it was fun. I bought her bath bombs. Yeah. Yeah. Shopping Oswald uh, Hill that is in there. Some old friends of mine, they've just yeah. come along to help out for the night and serve drinks. OK, lovely. Next in, it's Lambert. Uncanny resemblance, eh? Oh, hi! Hello. They're just helping out with serving drinks and stuff. Too. I might have looked at her boobs, David. Know. They've got their own gravitational pull. And finally, here's Debbie, looking like she's wearing... Oh, Debbie, take your coat off. You must... Be hot in there, for goodness sake. Yeah, come on, what yeah. have you got on under there, you sexy uh, woman? <gasps> sexy woman. Hey. Oh. <laughs> she got... Actually, there's a real tattoos. There's a real tattoos. Those are real tattoos that she got done for this. Oh, come on. Oh, come I love on. it. They it's actually look sexy, thing. don't they? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Give Paul a shock tonight. Oh, no, he did. <laughs> did he, he did, did stick it. Them on? Did he? Did he? <laughs> Paul Daniels are stuck tattoos <laughs> on Debbie <laughs> McGee for my benefit. Sorry for the bad video. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's that's Jodie Marsh's ass. There. That was above the dinner table. We seem to be stuck on this. I don't know. I'm sorry. TOS, TOS. Coming up. Is that always up there while you're eating? to the bottom. I can't. Uh, the video is stuck. Let's go forward a bit. If we go forward, it's about there. It's going to stop again. Let's stop it. We're nearly there. I'm not going to rip it now. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. computer seems to have crashed. I might have to lose this stream. This is terrible. My computer's crashed, guys. Oh, no. This is awful. My computer's crashed. Um, no, nope, it doesn't do anything. So nearly there. Fix it. All right, I'll try and fix it. I'll try and fix it. There we go. This DVD drive that you people told me to buy is shit. I'm going to do the old trick of turning it upside down. There we go. The old trick of turning it upside down. We try again. So close to the end. Here we go. We'll just make it past the ads, I think. Hey, Cater Cakes. We've been streaming for nearly three hours. Watching another TV show. <laughs> Cookery show. Good luck, Jodie. 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 Good luck, Jodie.
right, Jodie. Enjoy yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Jodie Marsh is competing against three other celebrities in a bid to win a thousand pound charity prize as best I was dinner so party host. Point, so I'm not drinking. So I, I, think you're I don't think Jodie was drinking. Either. As she gets to work in the kitchen, her guests take their seats below. Well, nice Jodie's one, seat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that the boys will love the fact that my naked romp is above the dining table. I think Ian will be cracking some jokes about it. No doubt. I splashed out on a Jodie Marsh poster once. It's very nice. Did you? Whatever do you mean? On to the food, and Jodie's starter is ready to go. Why is no one to poached eggs with asparagus? Cater Cakes comes on and tells me straight away it's loud compared to my voice. No one else has mentioned it. No one else has mentioned it. Why the fuck has no one else mentioned it? Why did none of you pricks say, oh, it's a bit loud, Ian. Could you turn it down? Fucking hell, you absolute wankers. That joke, um, splashed out on, was written by Andrew Newman, given to me by Andrew Newman, and I used it, I use it all the time. All the time. And homemade hollandaise sauce with a parma ham comes the for the two meetings. Here comes the hollandaise sauce joke. I made the hollandaise as well. Did you? Can you make hollandaise? Yeah. I didn't know. I thought you could only buy it. No, no. You can make How it. do you think they made it in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> Can you, can you make it? No, it just exists. What, Jody that? made a really good... I thought that was funny. Who gives a shit about the aspect ratio? It's because the disc is upside down. The disc is upside down. The, the DVD player is upside down. I use that joke a lot. All right, Catherine. David? The hollandaise sauce. It was quite David's thick getting on my nose. I'm compared ban to him in a some others. I may be dropping from my books. Was didn't talent. Matter. You just it's can't really control tasty. talent. Is, is that always up there while you're eating? Mm -hmm. What else would you want to look at while you eat? <laughs> <laughs> it was strange eating my dinner under a bum. And not just any bum, it was the bum of the person hosting. So I'm sort of looking at her and then looking at the bum and it was... Yes, moving on, the next course is, is ready. Clitter? And Jody seems to have forgotten that there are no. only four people around the table tonight. These are Jody's size portions. I can't do small dinners. Never have been able. It's just me being dumb, going. Well, I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could make hollandaise sauce. I thought you could just buy it. That's it. That's it. It's just me being the idiot. Is David your friend? He's always. He's not my friend. He's a client. He's. He's one of my clients. Got big, big plans for him, but he just needs to reel it in a bit. And that's the problem now. Is it with talent? With talent. It's hard to control. Look at that food. That looks amazing. I wish I wasn't a vegetarian. Then. Too in my whole life, ever. So Too, much food. Now, eh? Too much food. Too much Jodie's whopper of a main is a twice-baked cheese souffle served with ratatouille. Your wife says that not a joke. Your wife says that not a joke. And roast potatoes plus herb crusted rack of lamb for Lemberton and Debbie. It's Loose not a joke. It's just me playing. The, it's not a gag. It's me playing the idiot. It's me playing the role. Of the idiot. We got 342 people in tonight. These are big numbers for me. Big numbers. And you guys are ruining it. <laughs> the regulars. The regulars are ruining it. Ruining it. And I'm ruining the day I invited the regulars in. I hate all of the regulars. I wish they'd stop following. Is there any way I can get this to, to flash? This is a performance. Theatre, if you will. We had to put this up, Cater Cakes, because people just weren't getting it. So now this is a performance. Okay, people now know that this is... Can I make it flash? I wasn't a stand-up comedian. I wasn't doing stand-up at this time. Thank you, Logical. Should, should get rich off this stream tonight. Oh, only two of you have subscribed. We voted for you in the jungle. Helps everyone. Oh, come on! Yes. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, Jodie, my goodness, yeah. am I going to be here for a week? It's yeah. huge! I can't do small dinners, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to finish all this. It's ask my friends, you can ask any of my friends, I do huge dinners. <laughs> the size of the dinner that Jodie gave me I'll was, was you enough in a minute, to feed Nancy. a family on I like Sunday. you, Nancy. <laughs> Lanky, I'm not so The cheese souffle was easily the best main that we've had this week. That was incredible. I thought that, was that incredible. the lamb would be overcooked, because that's what people who don't usually Thank eat meat... Thank you, often Kat. do. 
It wasn't. Lanky, Lanky, Lanky does that thing that a lot of Lily fans do. It carries on doing the joke what, without Marsh's the Marsh's massive mains. And so actually my dream job would be to just run a garden centre or something, or... Marsh's marrows. Would you still dress like you? I was so bored at this point. Oh, no, of course not. I'd it's be like fourth night. And, I was yeah. full. So when you're here, you're quite... Jodie's can't really believe, surprised me. Can't believe more people aren't subbing. To watch a ten-year-old DVD that keeps freezing. Ah. <laughs> when you put it like that, when you put it like that, all week. Um, you know, purely because I've believed what I've read in magazines and the newspapers, which is very unfair. The party girl image is true, but it's not everything. It's true. She's also a very serious homemaker. And she's a great, great cook. Having shot meeting face I'm with her I'm cooking so and bored. hosting skills, it's now time for Jodie to spring another surprise with the help of her waiters. I have prepared something that I'd like to do. Can we take this? Uh, oh, let's see what the. Uh, I see like him, he's great! I didn't take a dump in any of the houses. Well, Limmy, you'll have to wait, because I'm on. When they started singing, that was a genuine surprise, and I thought that was brilliant. They were great, these guys. This was brilliant. It was so loud. I actually thought they were going to do a so loud. song and dance with Jodie. They did do a gay sex thing, but they, they didn't show that. It was so loud in there. I just happened to love that kind of music, and... Even as I speak to her, I can feel a shiver up my spine. It was really moving. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this this was after the gay sex scene to celebrate it. <clears throat> it looks like Jody and her operatic helpers have delivered a pretty thoughtless performance so far. I've never gone wrong with these. But she still needs a good I didn't steal anything from the house. She's winning the thousand pound charity prize. And here it is ginger and orange syrup cheesecake. I wasn't so keen. That is delicious. I wasn't so keen. I don't like Limbit. Seems to have and decided orange. he likes his desserts after all. Make your mind up, man. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. him, he's wankers. I was remembering you were like my five year old nephew when you'd given him some smarties. <laughs> 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 That's Dylan, I'm Actually, talking no, about there, Joe. Think about it. Dylan. Why would I not Dylan. have sugar yeah. in the past? Who's coming yeah. to do work experience with us yeah, in a week or so? Kind of you mean from you're from being a wimp? <laughs> I would come on. He was wanking. Well, thank you for that. And after this, he went and jumped. Counseling. And they didn't film it. I filmed it and I lost it. He jumped on a trampoline out in the dark in the garden, going, Fuck you, everyone who didn't vote for me. Fuck everyone. Fuck you. It's democracy, mate. <laughs> if I, yeah. Lembit is a mystery to me. He says he doesn't yeah. like puddings, but then he's been eating puddings. He's a strange, strange fish. And I'm I don't so think tired. Anyone Will ever work I'm out. bored of this at this Maybe point. Maybe it was more of a phobia than um, a it's physical thing. Manifest. You mean you've been making a big fuss over nothing? Yes, yeah, I agree. So it's bored. I just wanted to go out now. Out tired. These efforts have so been a lot. This one was a long way away from my house. Prize. This has been a really great night, so I'm going to give Jodie a nine. Fine. The best food, the best entertainment, so I'm going to give Jodie an eight. Jodie gets. Well, you just have to wait. Right. People. As host, it falls to Jodie to announce the results. Ooh, look at all that fondue looks. OK, everyone, good luck. Here we go. Fourth place is... Ian. Aww. Genuinely fucked off there! Genuinely fucked off! Because I think I've got to beat... I've got to beat Lembit. And then I'm just like, I'm so tired, I just want to go home now. Oh, Never mind. I, I just Get your hands off great. me, McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely second fucked place, off. Second place, joint second, Debbie and Limbit. Yay! Yay. Shut up! Up to the winner. Lembit scored Jodie a nine, giving her a winning total of 26. Jodie totally deserved to win. It was easily the best food by a mile, the best entertainment. She was a great hostess. Brilliant. Two cheers well for Jodie Hip Hip. Right. We're very happy to share second, aren't we? I'm really pleased, really relieved, because I thought that I'd blown it with my broccoli and Stilton soup. If it was just <laughs> down to that, Lembit, you would have blown If I'd have given him the three or four that I originally give, gave him and then said, oh, can I do it again? 
and if I hadn't given him the six, I'd have beaten him. He beat me by one point. If I'd given him the three or the four, I'd have beaten him. My fault. My fault. My fault. Own it. <laughs> <laughs> I've not only met three amazing people who I definitely would stay in touch with and who would just love no, me. We won't. Boy George called me out on this once. Boy George said to me, um, I saw you drinking champagne on TV the other day. Thought you were one of us. I went, it wasn't. It was, um, uh, that was Schler, I think. I wasn't drinking champagne. Boy George. But they've actually made me their winner. Like, I can't... I'm just in total hey, shock and amazement. And the real winner is friendship. Uh, uh, a, dr a recovering drug addict. Recovering drug addict, yeah. Oh, yes. What? There <laughs> we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have to win. It was easily the best for a mile, the best entertainment. She was a She wins a grand stars. for charity. Oh, oh, we all got paid. All right. <laughs> We're very happy to share second, aren't we? I'm really pleased, really relieved, because I thought that I'd blown it with I the do a funny in Stilton suit. I do a funny. Make, it, make <laughs> up for the that, hollandaise sauce, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I've not only met three amazing people who I definitely would stay in touch with and who were just lovely. No. But they've actually made me their winner. Like, I can't... I'm just in total shock and amazement. And the real winner is friendship. Oh, yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ian! It was Jody was the winner. <laughs> Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. Oh, honey, honey. We had um, the singer of this. Ron Dante on the radio show once. I say you end the show, guys. Thank you, Ollie. I'm glad your wife thought that joke was okay. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I got paid £3,000 for doing that. I don't know if it's worth carrying on.